Hello and welcome to the eighth episode of the Acupuncture Storytime podcast. I am your host, Daniel Rose, and so delighted that you are choosing to join us for another story. This story is one of those patient encounters that makes your entire life worth it for just this one way you were able to touch someone's life with medicine. And if that doesn't make you want to listen to the rest of the story, then maybe this will. We were able to help a 12-year-old girl with 27% lung function who was on the lung transplant waiting list get her lung function up to 40% and off the lung transplant list. So you're going to want to stick around for this story. But first, you have to hear about our sponsor, Tamper T. T A E M P E R T dot com. This is the best quality green tea, black tea, oolong tea in the world. It's so good. What am I drinking tonight? Is I'm drinking this tea that's called Eastern Beauty. And it is grown in the mountains of Taiwan at a specific elevation. And what's unique about this is that they release grasshoppers to eat the leaves because at a certain time in its development, because this causes the leaves to release certain chemicals that changes the flavor. And oh my gosh, is this tea delicious. And there are so many good varieties on this website. You can use the code STORYTIME10, lowercase STORYTIME10, on tamperty.com to get 10% off your tea purchase, your first tea purchase. So try it today. But now back to the story. This was a 12-year-old girl who came to the clinic with cystic fibrosis, and she was in really not good shape. She nasty cough and wheezing and thick yellow phlegm and no appetite and got her food through a, a nastrogastric feeding tube and back pain and so many other conditions, just everything going hung. And it just, it makes your heart so sad to see a little girl like this. And so I'm thinking about her condition and how to approach it. And I was reminded of an experience that I had when I was in the Shuguang Hospital in Shanghai, China. And I had the opportunity to shadow the top pediatrician in the pediatrics department of the hospital, I'm forgetting his name, I had written down in a notebook somewhere. But he was a elderly guy. He was in his 80s, and he just showed up. He had a private office, and he just showed up whenever he wanted and then left whenever he wanted, and there was always a massive line out the door. And he, his clinic was right next to the organic herbs dispensary with the best quality stuff, and he was this really nice old man who loved to teach. So I sat in on him as he would diagnose and treat patients, and one of the things I noticed is he had a favorite formula. He always prescribed, not always, but in many cases prescribed this formula called Gu Ban Fang, which means strengthen the root decoction. Gu Ban Fang. And so I asked him in between patients, what's with Gu Ban Fang? What, can you explain this formula? And he said to me, ah, okay. And I was with a couple, it wasn't just me, it was with a couple other students, friends of mine. And he said, what is the root weakness of, what's the typical weakness of pediatric patients that causes their, the beginning of their problems? And we said from the textbook, you know, children have an underdeveloped digestive system, and so they tend towards digestive weakness. And he said, ah, and he gave us a big thumbs up. And he said, what will be the sequelae from a weak digestive system? What comes when you're not digesting food well? And again, from the textbook, we said, well, if a person is not digesting food well, two things happen. One, they're not getting good nutrition, and so they're going to have fatigue and weakness. But second, 
they're going to start developing phlegm because the stomach can't process the waste in the food and it becomes thick, a thick, sticky substance that can come into the bloodstream, can come up into the lungs, and that's called phlegm. And he said, wow, very good. What is the formula, you know, base formula for treating digestive weakness, what we call spleen chi deficiency in Chinese medicine? So, so jin zi It's a four herb formula of ginseng or cordonopsis fruit, um, attractive lotus fruit, poria mushroom, and licorice. And he said, it would. Good. And those four herbs really boost a person's energy. They boost a person's ability to digest food to absorb nutrients from food, which is the source of where we get our new energy. And he said, and what do you add to it if you the patient also has this secondary issue of phlegm? And we said, well, you add the herbs of urchantang, which is a four-herb formula that shares two herbs with sejentatang. And so you add in the missing two herbs of bansha, kanoe root, and chunpi, dried mandarin orange peels. And he that makes the formula Liu Jinzatong. The that's what it's called. We're getting into a lot of details here. I'll try to do less details, but less Chinese. But uh, he gave us another big thumbs up, and he said, "Well, okay, what will happen if a person or a child is is long term not getting nourishment? What does that do to their immune system?" And there's this idea in Chinese medicine that the immune system is is called the Wei Qi, that's the protective energy on the outside of their body, and that's like the guards to the body. And then they have the Ying Qi, which is the nutritive Qi, where the nutrition is circulating on the inside of the body. That's like the people who feed the guards. And if there's not good nutrition coming in from the digestive system, then the guards don't get fed, and then the immune system is weak. And so we call that disharmony between Ying and Wei. And, and the formula to treat that is called Gui Tong, cinnamon twig decoction. And that's what we told him. And he gave us another thumbs up. And he said, yes. So Gu Fong, we use the herbs of, you know, Su Jun Zetang to strengthen the digestive system, which is the root of pediatric conditions, the weak digestion, together with Er Tong to get rid of the phlegm that's coming as a result of this. And then the third condition that's going to come from it is this weakened immune system, this disharmony of the, the nutritive and protective qi, the yin and wei. So add in cinnamon twigs, and peony roots, which are, are two main herbs of this formula of Guajir Tong that works on this immune modulation. And you're like, okay. And he was like, but we're not done yet. Because if you need to protect, there's a classic formula to you, herbal formula to use if you want to strengthen and protect this immune system more. What is it? Yu Ping Feng San. This is a three-herb formula, again, small formula, that astragalus root, Huang Qi in Chinese, Feng Feng Sila root, and again, attract the lotus root, which is already in there. It's part of Sujun Zetong, the digestive formula. And when they said, yeah, so we add that into Gubon Fong to strengthen the, the immune system further. And we're like, okay, but we're not done yet. Because if a child has all of these issues, it's going to create a stagnation of the qi. And stagnation of the qi in the body engenders heat. So we're going to add in Huang Qin, skullcap root, to clear the heat from the the child's body. And that's not all. You also need to astringe the lung. Hey, what's the formula for astringing the lung? And that's where we got lost. We were like, uh, I don't know. I said Kong Ming Feng. And I still have never found Kong Ming Feng in a textbook. I don't know. But the missing herbs from Kong Ming Feng were Weitza, Shisandra Berry, and Wu Mei, Japanese plum. And to like, that kind of like astringes the lung to keep the, the phlegm from leaking out, to keep the chi from leaking out, it strengthens it. I, I, I don't know exactly, but he adds those herbs in. And so that combination of all of those formulas is Guban Fong, strengthen the root decoction. And he gave this out like candy to so many kids. And I've tried it. I've had mixed results with it. I feel like it's a bit too much. It's a bit too strong. And, uh, you know, like, for example, with my own children, I've used that formula when they're sick. I didn't have great results, and I moved to a simpler formula, and I had better results. So, you know, case by case, and different people and different climates are different. But in this case, with this woman, or this little girl, this 12-year-old girl with cystic fibrosis, I thought to myself, whoa, we have this base here of her digestive system is just broken. She has no appetite. She has gas, bloating, discomfort, stomach pain. 
she has to eat, you know, she eats with a nastogastic feeding tube. She needs this root of strengthening the digestive system. And she also has this thick yellow phlegm that she's coughing up and blowing out all the time. So I was use that sajentatang plus urchentang. It's the same basic principle as gubon fang. And then from there, it's she has this weak immune system and is so susceptible to colds and it's very dangerous for her. She needs immune modulation. Add in the missing herbs of guajutang, cinnamon twig decoction, in order to protect that from this, as we explained earlier, disharmony of yin way. And she sweats very easily, and it's just generally weak, and she needs the extra boost from this immune tonifying formula, Yu Ping Feng San. And so add in those extra herbs of that. And she also has this internal heat from stagnation very clearly. It shows up in the, the yellow phlegm and the rapid pulse. So add in Huang Qin, and those lungs need... You need to stringe the you an astringent kind of herb that draws the qi into the lungs, that keeps the energy from leaving the lungs, that keeps it from scattering. Clearly, she needs that. Add in the missing herbs of Kongling Feng, Wu Mei, and Wu Weitza, Shishanja Berry, and Japanese Plum. And this patient looks like a perfect fit, like lock and key with the formula Guban Feng. And so I prescribed it to her. And it was easy for her to take because she just went through the feeding tube. She didn't even have to taste it. And she takes 10 bags of it. And her parents say, this might be like a little bit better, like not much. And she takes another 10 bags of it. And her parents say, yeah, she's, she's doing better, though. She doesn't admit it, but we seem like she's doing better. So I give her another 10 bags. Basically, I give her 10 bags after 10 bags for about a full year. And her parents are just reporting to me, whoa, the, the phlegm is much better. Her stomach pain is doing much better. Her breathing is improving. And in her lung function tests, at the, in her irritability and mood is improving. In her lung function tests at the doctor, a couple of months ago, she was around 38, 39%, heading up to 40. And she was at 27% lung function when I met her. And on the lung transplant list, and at 40%, she was off the transplant list, and she's still taking the herbs, and we're still moving forward and moving up. And she was already on every pharmaceutical you could be on. She has top quality care in the West medicine and pharmaceutical world. This is an incredible example of Chinese medicine integrating with Western medicine for greater care in even a dramatic and frightening case. So privileged to be a part of that, and um, thank you for listening to this acupuncture and Chinese herbal story.